husbands who are trying to be that rock and supporting your wife and, you know, trying to make time with her while having kids. today and we back with another weekly vlog so um if you are new here then this channel is all about motherhood lifestyle self-development um just us trying to become the best versions of ourselves while balancing all the many hats that we wear on a day-to-day -day basis so if you are interested in that type of content then make sure that you hit that subscribe button right now do it right now okay but anyways let's get on into this weekly vlog so today is friday and we are out already it's 8 30 we just left the um me and the baby we're everybody out because you know i'm still on maternity leave for like another week and a half it's about to be over i'm sad i'm really sad y'all i thought i was gonna have to go back this week but by the grace of god i was approved for two more weeks oh my god because baby when i had talked to my boss i started crying i was crying so hard <laughs> oh i was crying so hard because it was just it was just too much and i was gonna have to come back earlier than i thought i was gonna be able to come back because things changed a little bit but that's neither here nor there because really it is what it is um and i mean i have to work i am a working mama that has to go to work so it is what it is i just um it's it's gonna be a little tough it's gonna be a little it's gonna be a little hard it's gonna be a little rough but anyways um i am headed back to my husband's job we dropped him off this morning but he has the rest of the keys um he has the rest of the keys i don't know why so we won't be able to get in the house if i headed back home anyway so I am um I am headed to go get the keys from him and then we headed back home. But we had to go to the birth we had to go to the health department so I could get his birth certificate, um, get Myers' birth certificate so I can add him to my insurance because um the time is winding down. Um the deadline for me to add him to my insurance, so I need to go ahead and do that like today before um that time is up you have 60 days um with my job you have 60 days to turn in um to add somebody to your insurance um like add up when you have like a baby or something um, i was waiting for his birth certificate to come in the mail because i swear i thought that's what happened last time when i had the girls they sent it in the mail but when i called the lady um yesterday at the health department she was like they don't do that and she was like the hospitals need to stop telling people that because they don't do that they have to come up here and request it but i could have sworn that they sent it in the mail last time y'all and guess what i forgot to buy i don't even think i put it on my my registry or anything but I, we need a camera for the car or the little mirror or something because i can't see the baby but he sleep when i just put him in the car and good thing that we stay in this small town so everything is really close so we'll be back home like before it won't be long before we back home so that's a good thing but yeah like i need to go on amazon and order that i think i want the camera i think i want the camera with um the little monitor that comes with two cameras um i think that's what i want i was looking at that last night and i think i'm gonna get that because like when we be going to new orleans and most of the time we drive, you know, we drive out to New Orleans because it's on like a six hour drive. Um, that would be really good if we could have those cameras. That way we could put them all the way in the back and see the girls, kind of like if we angle it, one camera to see them and then one camera to see the baby. Even though if we go, if we go on, then I would be in the back. But anyways, 
anyways what i'm saying is i think we need two cameras where we can see the girls and we can see myers like one on his face and then one kind of angle where we can see um both of the girls because they be all the way in the back so because if it's just us if it's just me in the car and i'm in the front seat driving i need to be able to see all them children back there so um yeah but anyways y'all my allergies have been kicking my butt and that's something i have never really had to deal with i've never had um allergies like really bad that just happened like recently um since like last year and i was having to take allergy medicine every morning because my eyes be bothering me like so bad so i need to go get some allergy medicine because we've been outside because we've been going to vacation bible school all week long so we've been outside and um yeah but let me get these um let me get these keys from this man y'all and i will talk to y'all once we get back home guys we are about to, i just we just went and picked up the girls a little early from daycare because the, um the ending of vacation bible school is tonight and they have on a sneaker ball so i got to redo they have because they had a fun day at school hey stop uh-uh stop fighting oh my god y'all but anyways like i was saying before i was interrupted by them wanting to fight um I am about to pump. Oh, what I was saying was they have um, a sneaker ball tonight, a sneaker ball. And so I had to redo their hair because they had fun day at daycare today. So they was outside all day, bouncy houses, water slides, all of that. What's the matter, Bookie butt? Because of them girls, they was loud. They getting you all riled up. Uh-oh. There you go. There you go. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to try to do that hair real quick so we can be on time. 
um they had on like it got wet i put um some swim caps in there so maybe i think they put them on them so yeah i'm just gonna redo it and then we'll wash it this weekend so so yeah we are at the park um mir wanted to stay with us last night after we left the sneaker ball at vacation bible school so oh that's a bug that's some bugs on there oh Oh, woo, woo, woo. Go, go, go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get them bugs off of you. Get the shake, 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 shake. Oh, it's an ant or something. Ooh, I should have got that bug spray. That's what I'm about to go get that bug spray because y'all know I don't do no bugs. Ooh, ugh. Um, anyway, that's why I ain't no outside person for real. But anyways, y'all, um, y'all be careful. I'm going to get some bug spray. Anyways, Mir stayed with us after um yesterday and that was so much fun y'all we had so much fun something i made like a little tiktok of like a recap of our night um yesterday make sure y'all follow me on um tiktok because i be posting a lot over there because i'm trying to um really kind of focus on tiktok right now i'm posting i'm trying to post like three times a day but we're gonna at least once a day so yeah make sure y'all follow me over there but i'm gonna go ahead and insert that video right here Come with us to the sneaker ball at our church, the WCM, where it's in the ministries. So, y'all know we had vacation Bible school this week. And to end it off, we had a sneaker ball for the kids, y'all. And it was so fun. Well, I don't know. It was for everybody, for real. I don't know why I said the kids, because the kids had a ball. But the adults did, too. Like, it was very, very fun. We got certificates and everything, y'all. So, I just want to come on here and tell y'all, um, if you are in the area, then make sure that y'all come out to um, Vacation Bible School next year because, baby, it was lit all week. And also come to our church on Sundays because it be a whole vibe and you get a good word every time. So, yeah. And then that's our pastor right there and his daughter, baby. We had so much fun. So, yeah. Then I had to end the video with my little boo-boo. He looks so cute. Bye, y'all. Hawk, come do the swing with your sister. The seahorse or whatever it's called. Ooh, girl. You can do it, baby. back to church <laughs> and we kid free and we kid free and we headed back to church for the marriage ministry boot camp and we kid free oh my gosh yeah are you excited about that or something yes i don't, get to, I don't get to spend enough time with my beautiful wife alone you know <laughs> I, got a, I got a message that just came to me for all the men out there that are fathers and they are you can look at, at that but all the men out there that are fathers and you know, they, they are husbands who are trying to be that rock and supporting your wife and, you know, trying to make time with her while having kids. Just stay strong because you're going to get those small moments and you got to make it count. You know what I'm saying? I understand, you know, at the end of the day, kids go to sleep and all that, but that's not enough. You know, you want to have some time where it's broad daylight. We out here, we enjoying time, you know, for what it is, you know, you got to look at stuff like that. And I just want to say, you know, 
even though we're gonna be kid free for these next two and a half hours, I am thankful. I am grateful. And that's all. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just grateful. <laughs> I am. Well, this marriage ministry boot camp should be fun. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be fun, you know. Kids are awesome, but you gotta put your marriage first. You know what I'm saying? How you expect how you how you expect for your kids to have a you know a great growing up experience or your kids to just be you know happy and all that other type of stuff and you know just be content with life if you know your marriage you know your significant other you know what I'm saying y'all gotta have that that bond and that um what I'm trying to say that relationship too because if you pour into your marriage everything else you know the cup won't overflow from that and just pour into everything else you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so. Ultimately, all in all, just stay strong, and it's gonna be plenty. It's gonna be plenty of opportunities, so take them and take advantage of them, like we doing right now. <laughs> Y'all, I know this is days later. It's actually the day that I am finishing up editing, so I can go ahead and post this video this evening. But I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog and let y'all know that we will be back to the regular schedule, which is every Tuesday and Friday. I am going to get better with staying on top of my schedule. I've already been recording for the next week, so I should be um, on schedule. So I just want to let y'all know that new videos will be every Tuesday and Friday at 3 p.m. and go ahead and end this vlog. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't try to come back when you're famous I always want the truth, but it's dangerous You got something real, not basic You wanna get with me, stop